Hey, what's up guys? Kato here and welcome to another Anomaly survival video. So today we won't have a crocodile gameplay. We're gonna have a rhino gameplay because I have this rhino sitting in my slots since weeks, maybe months. And uh, I haven't played herbivore in, in a while. So I've decided to grab him because it's just one of my favorite and do a little bit of gameplay for you guys. Now, before I start this gameplay or this video, I want to give you guys a quick... Um, tip that i just learned let's let's say five minutes before i start recording now you guys know that um if you want to apply a setting on anomalia it, the game will tell you to restart your game right but what if i told you that you don't really need to restart your game now every time you try to apply something right it will tell you to restart you just have to press no close everything open everything back up go to graphics and click apply and there you go you have applied your settings now i will i will grab this uh this um example that you guys can see that my uh, rhino looks like a playstation 2 character i don't think a lot of people know this but there is a big difference playing in low medium and high i've talked about this in my best settings for anomalia i really hope you guys take a look at this but let's say i put this in medium you guys can see with the view distance in medium i look like a normal adult rhino but i'm not i am a fully grown elder so if we go to our options and if you put the view distance at high and apply like so we'll be looking more like an elder and i don't think a lot of people know about this problem or trick so this is my tip for you guys hopefully you guys enjoyed another thing is i'm be i'm going to be conducting a um, interview with one of the anomalia devs and as i said in the other video you guys are free to ask questions either in the comments down below or in my discord i don't think a lot of people know that i have a discord for the channel that you guys can participate talk about even play together with me if you guys want but i will leave that down in the description below another thing this is a surprise but i won't spoil it, is i'll be conducting something a special video in about three days so keep an eye out because I do think you guys will be interested in watching that video. So subscribe so you guys don't miss the surprise. Without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. Now, you guys all know that I don't usually play aggressive. I'm not usually the aggressive type who just kills everything that sees. But I'll be playing as an aggressive rhino. But with a twist, because I don't really want to KOS everything that I see. I will have a 5 meter imaginary radius, which if anybody comes into my comfort space, I will threaten and I will attack. Because I'm pretty interested in see what will people do if a rhino is charging at them. Because some of the people are really peaceful, nice, you're just chilling, you know. But... I'm all about the realism and role playing. So we're gonna be a little bit aggressive this video. And also, I wanna test my ability because I've played the Rhino since it came out. They added the ability. I've seen the icon. I thought this was like a passive that was also always active, but you need to press C to activate your ability. And I have tested this with the devs. And this does a lot of damage. Like, I'm not even kidding. You can easily one-shot some animals with this ability. So, let's put this into the test and see. Now, we're going to be doing a little bit of migration. Because I don't really want to stand still in one area. We'll be visiting the most populated places, like the Oasis. And we are going to be visiting some unknown places. And hopefully we will have some interactions and maybe some PvP and action. So let's cue the music. And do some editing. Thank you. 
Well, looks like we're arriving at the oasis. Prepare to see some crazy stuff. A little baby. A little baby. Is your mom a little baby? No, it's not to you. It's for the uh, mean lion over here. Did you, did you thought? Somebody died over there. There is always activity here on the oasis. I do see a lot of leaves though. Now, I, I was thinking about the little baby, you know? Because it's not... You don't see a lot of uh, companionship. I was also looking at this lake and I... And I got a flashback when the crocodile got released. You would see a lot of piles with eggs that you could create babies. Now you don't really see them. I don't know why, but... Trying to catch a crocodile birth is pretty, pretty rare. Now I'm pretty indecisive because... I could play a role of a mother protecting his cub. Which is pretty... Pretty cool. Instead of the old solo play. But we'll see. So, I've decided to come back here and try to search for the little baby um, rhino. See if I can adopt him. But I don't think he's either here or alive anymore. No, it doesn't really look like he's here. Maybe he went to a place to AFK grow with safety. Because Oasis is not really a safe place. What's this? A clash of prides? You can see the Asian communication between prides. There's a lot of lines, huh? Mama knows. Mama knows I, about, I was about to turn, give him the old three call. Mama just grabbed him before I turned around. Clever. But now we're gonna go southeast and see if we can find anything over there. Well, we're all the way south. Seems like there's no one here. I don't know why, but I do enjoy this part of the map. It reminds me a lot of Africa. A lot of trees, a lot of vegetation. Pretty isolated, but no one, uh, no one likes it. I think. Well, we're gonna rest here for a little bit, gain our stamina back, and uh, 
migrate all the way back to the uh, north side and uh, see what happens I look like they're still there I went all the way to the uh, south and came back Like your eyeballing me, boy. Yeah, that hurt. I could tell. Flag. Can they jump? They're not really doing damage to me. It's pretty. Pretty strange. Now they got bleed off. Gotta play careful with my stamina. I gotta find myself a black lion. There is no mercy for the weak. One of you shall die, and it will not be me. I'll just walk away then. I've probably inflicted a lot of damage to uh, one of them. I was talking the black lion, but he ran all the way. But you see that everybody's for calling, but there was one lion that was still attacking me. Which, I mean, once you start a fight. I mean, we have to end it because somebody has to die. Well, we didn't kill any of them that I know of because I, I do think that the black male should have some bleeding stacks on him. But... Sometimes they just expect you to stop because, you know, they want to kill you as a pride and they're just like, okay, now we're going to full call and everything will be all right. With me, honestly, that doesn't really work. It's the fight to the death. If I remember, there should be some healing plants over there. It looks like we only have one plant. We should be all great. Full HP, you ready for our next battle? If anybody dares to fight me. <laughs> well, friends, I think I'll just end the video at that. It's been almost one hour or so we've migrated we didn't have the uh, action that i was expecting but we had we fought a prize so i'm pretty happy with it we didn't die so at least we got a little bit of footage for you guys but 
hopefully you guys enjoyed remember if you want to have or if you want to leave a question for the uh, dev of animalia go to my discord there should be a channel called q a or just leave a question down below like q a dot dot and then your question so that i can read and ask him once uh we do the interview so thank you very much for watching guys hopefully you guys enjoyed subscribe so you don't miss what i'm going to upload in the next few days it's a surprise and I'll see you guys in the next video. Kato here. Peace.